What's up, people? I am finally making a video about the Neo Geo X. And this is not it. Huh. This is the Neo Geo Advanced Entertainment System. This is the... This is my boxed AES. I'm not going to take it out at this moment, but I'll show you the box. There's the back. Looks like the back of a box. This is a Japanese one. <clears throat> good story about how I got this box. I bought the just the machine and the controller and all the hookups and as I was leaving the store they had a box just for display like you know like a poster except it was a box and I said can I have that and they said sure so that's how I got my <laughs> my Neo Geo in a box so it's not perfect and complete but it is in the box and that's something so here is the Neo Geo X box. Hmm, similar, smaller. <coughs> and uh, actually, this one I'm sending back because two problems I had with it. The main console, the handheld, when I hooked it up to the HDMI directly, nothing came on the screen on the TV. The screen on the handheld went off, but uh, so in the HDMI knew something was hooked up, but nothing ever showed up on the TV, and I tried two different connections, so, yeah. And maybe even more irritating than that, because I wouldn't really use that very much, is the fact that, that when I plugged it in with uh, the arcade stick, there was a noticeable delay between, like, when I pushed right on the arcade stick and when my shift or whatever went right on the screen. And I tried that with both HDMI and the um, composite hookups, and yeah, no good. So you can't play those kind of games if there's a delay. I mean, you can, but it sucks. So I'm returning this one. And, right, I'm in my pajamas if you haven't figured it out yet. Pajamas are cool. Right, so I have actually another one here because I'm an idiot and I accidentally ordered it twice. I thought I'd canceled the one order, but it turns out I hadn't. So here we go. This one actually came with an extra instruction manual with Japanese. I, f I didn't mention, this is the Asian version of the Neo Geo X Gold Limited Edition. So it says right on it, Asian, can you see that? No. Asian version. Uh, all games are English, AES. So, I'm going to try this again, and uh, yeah, let me just get this ready to open, I'll be right back. Alright, that took some time getting that tape uh, cut in a way to be able to get it open, but it's done, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's try this again. So it seems to me that there's a problem with uh, quality control with the manufacturing process of the Neo Geo X, because I've talked to a few people online who uh, haven't had any problems with the things that I mentioned anyway. They have gripes, you know, like they don't like the fact that the stick's too loud or something like that, but basically things are okay. Okay, great. I have two <laughs> Japanese instruction booklets. Excellent. Right, so... <sighs> Oh, great, yeah. So, as long as I'm doing this, I might as well do it. Here's a box. I know, like, 25,000 people have done this unboxing, but I actually had something I wanted to say, so. And then, it's cool how they have these stickers like this, but it's just more sticker that I have to get through. And then this one's away. Whatever, there it is. So, I have to get that stuff ready to open. Okay, so I finally got all the tape cut and ready to go. So we'll just do this. This is not that important. I was talking earlier about the <coughs> quality control issue. I suppose it's possible that because this is the Asian model, that the Asian models have an issue with uh, input lag uh, with the controller. I don't know, but this is my second Asian model that I'm opening up. There's the HDMI cable and the English instruction manual. So, I will hook it up and let you know in this video if I have the same problem with it. And if I do, I will be able to say, don't get the Asian model. 
If it does work, I'll be able to say, if you buy it, keep your receipt because you may have to return it. So that opens up and you put the handheld in there. <coughs> Here is said handheld. I bought a, where does it go, aftermarket um, PS Vita case because it was like five bucks and I keep it in there. So it's a little big but it works pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave all the stuff on there until I test it. But uh, yeah, it's a bit light but that's not a problem. I don't see how that's a complaint for people. Light doesn't necessarily mean cheaper. So then you plug it in here. It's, it's actually quite, you really have to give it a good push to get it in there, and that connects everything. One kind of stupid thing about this is it doesn't come with a charger for just the system itself. It only has a charger that plugs into this, so, but, I mean, it's a kind of really common USB charger, so I use one that I already had. Anyway, so it's all plugged in as you can see, and yeah, about this, this doesn't bother me at all, this clickiness, it's fine. The only thing is, like, I would never play this, I mean, I shouldn't say it doesn't bother me at all. I won't take this on the bus or the train because, you know, you can't <laughs> be riding the bus and just be tick -tick -tick -tick. it's not really a cool thing, so that pretty much makes this not portable. I mean, it's portable in that you can carry it around, but playing it on the go with people around you, not so much. So, yeah, lame. Uh, right, so, but as far as making it feel like uh, the original controller, yeah, that was kind of cool. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so for those of you who may not know, this is a Neo Geo control pad, I guess is what it's called, and it's clicky. So, is actually clickier but this has probably been broken in and stuff right and some people really like this control pad some people hate it it's a it's a Neo Geo thing all right so that's in there ready to go set it aside here and get out the controller and hope that it works now with the last controller I tried a few different experiments I hooked it up This guy, right? I hooked this up. Uh, let's see it. To my PS3. I tried playing the same game, not the Mission 2. So, and it had the same problem on the PS3, which I mean, it's not designed for the PS3, so I can't really fault it for that. But it was exactly the same. The input lag issue. I'd push left, and then it would go left. It wasn't like push up, go left. You know what I mean? And. Uh, I played around with some other joysticks just to make sure it wasn't my imagination and they don't do that. So, And I'm not one of these guys who has to have it like perfect down to the microsecond. I mean, I can play games with a wireless um, arcade stick and it's not an issue, right? So anyway, this is just a USB um, <coughs> controller. But I tried other USB controllers on this and they don't work. So that's interesting also. Okay, so that's plugged in, and then just, I guess briefly, I'll show you also, um, this has been done before too, but here is a well, well used, <laughs> um, original Neo Geo AES controller, and can you see those next to each other? I don't know. I have a bad angle here right now for this video, but they're basically the same, uh, as far as appearance goes. You can see on this original one, the stick uh, is all cracked, and that happened a lot. Someone was saying that um, one problem with this one is that this ball is just glued on, so you can't easily remove it to replace it if it gets cracked, so that's one thing. Um, but anyway, it's cool how they made it pretty much exactly the same, I like that. Now, if it actually works, that'll be even better. Let's find out. All right, switching it on. While we're waiting for it to power up and come on, a couple things 
I didn't mention, I might as well. The original Neo Geo AS controller and then the Neo Geo CD controller. Both of these have the same uh, plug and they are interchangeable uh, between the two systems. As you can see there, maybe. Can you see? Yeah. So that's something to know. Okay, and we have, at least it works somewhat. It's on the screen, that's a start. And I think I'll know right off the bat. Uh, not, not sure this is too sweet. Sorry about the angle, I really can't be bothered to move everything around right now. It's okay, you can hate me. Get some volume. One thing about the volume, some people have mentioned, some people haven't noticed, but, oh, it's a good volume. Um, the volume control on the, where's my hand, <laughs> on the uh, device itself also affects the output on the TV, so if you're not getting enough volume, you might want to look at that. Alright, here we go, start. Normal. A type. Okay, let's find out. Okay, no. You can tell. I don't know if you can tell by the sound, but I'll just go left, right, left, right, and you should be able to see a discrepancy between that and here. Look. Can you kind of notice the pause there? It's just, ah, it angers me. I'm not even trying to play the game, I'm just trying to see how much delay there is. But you can hear it. When I push left, there's a bit of a delay before it moves left. That's not okay for fighters and shmups. That's like exactly the thing you don't want with a Neo Geo AES emulation. Uh, the controller on the, the handheld works fine, but this is... A good joystick, there should be basically no noticeable pause between when you hear me push right and the, the stick going right. But there's obvious lag. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's the Neo Geo, is it because it's the Asian one, or what? I read somewhere, I've been reading a lot about this, I read somewhere that it was to do with the HDMI, so I'll try it with just the component, or sorry, composite, and see what happens. Okay, so I've switched to the composite cable. This is how long it takes to come up on the TV. Ready? Go! Right, so while we're waiting, um, I realized that my HDMI connection is through a splitter because my TV only has two HDMI ports because, yeah, two's not enough for me because I'm me. I just need more stuff hooked up. So I wonder if that's why the handheld <coughs> um, doesn't show the picture on the TV. I don't know, but there it is. And now we're on uh, composite. So there's no HDMI excuse, it can't be because of the splitter, it's hooked directly into the TV. Alpha Mission 2, here we go. Uh, with the uh, composite cable hooked up, you really have to crank the volume quite a bit more. Which is fine with me, I don't care about stuff like that as long as I can hear it. <clears throat> I really tried to like this uh, machine and I do like it, I like the idea. I just want it to work right. So let's see with the com composite. If I'm saying component, sorry, they're similar words, but anyway. Ah, it's the same problem. It's it's floaty, right? Like, okay, maybe I can make it easier to understand. You can hear, I mean, I'm just firing now, but I'm going to go back to going left, right, left, right. You'll be able to hear me letting off of the stick. I'll just push on it and let go. And the ship will move after I've already let go of the stick. See? It should be moving when I push the stick, not when I let go of it. There's obviously uh, a delay there. Same with the fire buttons. Although that's not as big of an issue for me, really, but I think with the fighting games it would be, trying to get combos and stuff. Other people have complained about, uh, you know, like on the fighting games when they push B and C to try to get something to work, but it's not registering them both. I haven't really noticed that as much because I'm more concerned with the shmups on here than the fighting games at the moment. Uh, because if I can't play a shmup well, then I don't want it, basically. What's the point? So 
So, I don't know. It's not me. It's not just me, okay? It's this machine. <laughs> and one last thing, I'll hook the, the, um, what is it? The handheld up to the TV directly with HDMI and see if this one works. Okay, so there's a good chance I'm returning this, so I haven't even bothered taking this off, but I've now got it hooked up directly to the TV with HDMI, and you can see the screen is on right now. Can you hear? Yeah. But at some point, it will figure out that the HDMI is connected to the TV and just turn off. Now the TV should come on. Okay, this one, at least that part works. The other one, that didn't even work. So, at least as far as that's concerned, there's obviously an issue because one worked and one didn't. When it comes to the controller, I don't know, is it... Do other people just not notice it? I think that I'm not the only person that would notice something like that. But, uh, anyway, I'm sure I'm not because I'm just not that way. And I know that a lot of other people are much pickier about stuff like that than I am. So I really think that there is a... Wow! Yeah, now we're on HDMI, so it's wicked loud. There is some kind of an issue with quality control, and I don't know... Hopefully they'll take back this one. If not, I don't know. As long as I don't get stuck with two of them, I'm okay. But I'm pretty pissed off about this. So this is what it's like uh, playing on the TV with this controller. It's okay. I mean, it's cool. It's a nice feature to be able to do this. This one I don't feel like lagged with the movement. It's okay. Um... But it's, you know, it's not a joystick, so it's not the same. I really wanted this to not be a piece of crap. And honestly, the, the handheld itself seems pretty good to me. And considering what you're getting for the price, yeah, it's pretty awesome. But, having said that, uh... What you could do is get a um, PSP Go, download the Neo Geo Arcade, or even, no, you don't even have to, yeah, you could do that. Download the Neo Geo Arcade uh, PSP game, and then get the hookup for your PSP Go to hook it up to your TV, and then you can do all the same crap that this does, basically, except it'll probably actually work, right? Plus, then you have a PSP Go that can do a lot more stuff than this thing can. The emulation might not be as good. I don't know. But I have all those things except for the uh, <laughs> the cable to hook it up to the TV. So maybe that's the route I should have gone. But I just was really excited that Neo Geo, well, SNK, was putting their name on something. And I don't know. Right. And uh, I forgot to show this, but this is the game card that comes with it. Ninja Masters with an unexplained apostrophe. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice if it would come in a case, but that's kind of standard these days, apparently, for pack-in games. Or maybe that's always been the case. But I don't think I'm going to open this, because I think I'm sending it all back. <sighs> I'm just going to go cry in my pillow now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.